Samba singer Teresa Cristina is one of Brazil's most successful new stars. She has played venues in India, France, and Germany, but like many young Brazilian stars, not yet the United States. For a Brazilian artist to sing in Portuguese in the U.S., the difficulty is that it's an artist singing in a language that no one wants to hear. Cristina says that in addition to the language barrier, the size of many Brazilian bands makes travel to the U.S. prohibitively expensive, especially given a lack of commercial sponsors for Brazilian music concerts in the United States. My band is like a family, and touring without all of them forces me to compromise my music. I think you can. But Bernardo Araujo, who writes about Brazilian music for the Rio-based newspaper O Globo, disagrees. Teresa could maybe negotiate. Can I take three musicians instead of eight? Is that is that good enough? Can you find me a good drummer in uh, Europe? That, that's not going to compromise her art. It was in this Rio restaurant where Antonio Carlos Jobim composed the 1964 global bossa nova hit "The Girl from Ipanema." Jobim's success paved the way for other Brazilian musicians to take on the world. But today, musicians such as rocker Ana Carolina say they are finding it hard to translate their popularity in Brazil into global success. She works with an extensive band and sings only in Portuguese. Carolina says if she tours the U.S., she risks neglecting her fans at home in Brazil. But she says she is determined to try. It means putting my career here on hold, and in a short time, I'll be established enough to do that. It's going to be difficult, but it's going to happen. Rio-based singer-songwriter Celso Fonseca says he understands the difficulties, but he believes Brazilian musicians have what it takes to reach U.S. audiences. Jobim went to the States just with his music. He put a piano uh, at Adams Hotel in New York, and he was there playing his piano, writing, and writing songs, and 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 working with. American songwriters. He was alone, but he was confident that his music was great, is great. Bossa Nova came to define one generation's image of Brazil. Fonseca says Brazilian musicians today should do more to bring present-day Brazil to a global audience, despite the hurdles. Steve Mort for VOA News, Rio de Janeiro.